So if there's one thing that I like to talk about on my page, it is going to be Dendro and Raiden slash Sara for some reason. I don't even know why I use Raiden as much as I do. Now, if you're wondering why I'm so small, it is because of one of my Discord community members, Jar. By the way, if you're not part of the Discord, do be sure to join it. There is a link down below. If you click it, it should take you to the Discord. If not, copy and paste the link into your browser and it should work. That's what we've been telling people on the lives. But I've never talked about how this version of the Raiden Hypercarry team works. A traditional Raiden Hypercarry team is going to have Kazuha instead of Chevy with C6 Sara and then Bennett. Now, I run the Chevy variant of the Raiden Hypercarry team. And I've never talked about how it works. I've done videos on Raiden, I've done videos on Sara, and I've done videos on Chevy, but I've never actually talked about how they all work together. So that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna run this domain and kind of explain how it works. The whole premise with Chevy is that you want to cause an overloaded reaction. You don't necessarily care about the damage of the overloaded reaction, but you just want the reaction. Chevy has a passive where if your entire team is pyro and electro, when an overload reaction happens, whatever enemy is hit by the reaction has their resistance to pyro and electro dropped by 40%, which is the resistance shred that you can get from Kazuha or Sucrose with the VV artifact set. So you're still getting that resistance drop. However, Chevy also, whenever she fires an overcharged ball, which she gets from overloaded reactions, Whenever you hold down her skill and you shoot it, you give an attack buff to your characters. So, and that is based on her HP. Once you hit 40,000, you can get the maximum buff from that. So that's what we want to do. We want to cause overloaded reactions on enemies so that way they have their resistance dropped. Now, the first part of this domain, I'm going to be using mainly Sara, Chevy, and Benny to kind of show some damage differences. There's an instance in there where I don't use Raiden's skill, so that way there are no overloaded reactions and you can see that the damage from Benny's skill drops significantly. As soon as we cause an overloaded reaction, it jumps way back up. Now in this domain, I believe Benny's hitting like 50 to 60K with his burst. Sara's hitting like 80K with her burst. And then once we have the final two enemies, we cause overloaded reactions on them and we go through the rotation that is best gonna give Raiden the most damage. So the rotation, is going to go Raiden's skill, Benny's skill. We have to cause an overloaded reaction first. Then we're gonna go to Chevy and we're gonna hold down her skill. We're gonna drop down Benny's burst, which gives an attack buff. Then we're gonna go to Sara and we're gonna use Sara's skill. Once we put down the first feather, we're gonna swap to Raiden. When that explodes with C6 Sara, we're gonna give Raiden an electro crit damage buff and an attack buff. And then we're gonna swap to Raiden, we're gonna use her skill and we're gonna hit 300,000 in this domain. So I've actually been running some fights against Scaramouche to try to see how much damage I could hit with Raiden. I was using food and I will show you the exact food that I'm using in it whenever we get to the Raiden part, but I did it accidentally with Sara first. I, I was uh, trying to swap over to Raiden with my one key and I hit two for Sara and then immediately hit Q and it did Sara's burst. And I was actually able to hit 135K with Sara on her burst, which is kind of, crazy for Sara, right? She's She doesn't even have an attack sans or an ER sans with emblem, and she doesn't have a leveled goblet. She's got an EM sans and a level zero electro goblet, and she's already hitting 135k. It's crazy what buffs and debuffs can do. But now we're going to go to my highest hit damage with C0 Raiden, and you can see that we're going to go through the correct rotation. Raiden skill, Bennett skill, Going to go to Chevy and use Chevy's hold skill. Then we're going to go to Benny, use his burst. We're going to go to Sara, use her skill. I did have to do the charge shot after. Swap to Raiden, 499,000. I am less than a thousand away from breaking half a million with my C0 Raiden. And once I crown Bennett's burst, it's going to break the half a million mark with C0 Raiden. So I am this close. I'm this close. But I realized I'd never made a video actually talking about the rotation and how this team works. So that's what I wanted to do. If you have any questions about how this version of the Raiden Hyper Carry team works, do be sure to leave it in the comments. Myself or somebody else will be sure to answer it, and I will see you in the next video.